Okay, here's my scrap plywood. I made these just square, and these two square ones are gonna fit underneath these. And I didn't, I, I only made them, see those are about five inches in diameter. These are about two and a quarter square. So I can put that right up underneath there. And those other legs are about two by five. So I made this inch and three quarters by four and three quarters. And pretty much when I put that down there, I, I'm uh, pretty confident that I'm not gonna see any of the edge of the plywood. If I happen to see a little bit, uh, you know, it's way back in the corner. I'm not really gonna, gonna worry about it too much. You know, I say that, but uh, we'll see. When I, when I set that down in there, I think um, I'm not gonna see it at all, but uh, you know, if we do, if I do see it there, um, I'm gonna have to decide what to do. I may have to cut those squares a little bit smaller. So um, before, before I get going, obviously I've got to move this, uh, this um, nightstand over. I've got to move the other one over, flip it around sideways so I can reach in the back. Remember, I can't lift off to the side. And so I'll get all set up and uh, I'll, I'll not raise this up until I get ready to show you um, to see if I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it. It should be fine. I should be able to to get it up there by myself without anybody helping me. All right, be back in a jiff. I'm just getting ready to lift this now. If you have a long uh, area here, see we've got drawers. We've got drawers here. And sometimes they might have a little leg that fits down there. And I don't, I don't think they have one here, but if they did, if it's got threads on it, if you can unscrew it three quarters of an inch, fine. Chances are it might just be a stationary one. So then you'd have to take one of those, you'd have to take one of those blocks and put it there too, okay? So I have not tried to lift this bed yet. This sucker is going to be heavy because of course, well actually it's got a, it's got a, a, a big huge mattress. Look how thick this mattress is. Look at this, from here down to here. The box springs, look, it's just this little piece. About two inches tall, that's it. So, you know, when you go to the store to, to buy your, your bed, sometimes a box spring is not gonna be very thick, depending on what kind of, what kind of uh, mattress you get, how thick it is how tall your, your, um, your bed frame is and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to get it home and then find out, oh, it's too low after you put everything together. After, or or they, they give you thick box spring down there and then this bed's way up too high or something. You always want to kind of check that out uh, when you're at the store because we've, we've even had it happen to us, okay? So now, I don't know, I've got my... Uh, I've got my back brace on, my knee brace on, I've got my plywood here, and uh, there he has it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift that up, and I'm going to shove that under there. If, if I can, if I can lift it up, uh, I'm hoping I don't need Momi. I think I can, I can tilt this up. Yeah, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Oh. There we go. Oh, there it is. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. Whew. Ooh, that was kind of hard. Now, you might think that that plywood should be showing. Well, look at this. Look at this. You can't even really see it, can you? That's how far this frame pushed down into the carpet and the carpet backing and the carpet pad. See how when you get feet like this, see how much it, it depresses that and it actually will depress your, your, your carpet pad. Now obviously, if you had a bed frame like this and um, if you had it on a uh, wood laminate floor, tile floor, linoleum floor, uh, um, any kind of hardwood floor, um, of course it's not going to sink in like that, right? Okay, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, not sure where I'm gonna set you up 
to, to be out of my way. See if I can't, see if I can't lift this up. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, holy Toledo. This is gonna be heavy. And I can't lift on this side. I gotta lift from over here. And uh, man, I'm not sure. Last thing I wanna do is hurt my back. You know what I mean? Ooh, I, I wonder, I might, uh, eh, I guess I could take, I could take these two drawers out. Uh, I just don't want to, I just don't want to hurt myself here. How else could I do this? You know, I could put a couple blocks in a long two by four and push down on that. But, uh. How else can I do that? Because as I'm lifting up, I don't want it to hit the uh, the wall over there. I don't think I will. It's just uh, I don't know how far I can raise it over here, and then lift it, lift it as well. Well, I'll try it. I'll try it here. I think. I think I'm gonna keep the camera going. Last thing I want to do. It's hurt my back. I'm gonna put my gloves on. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think strong. That muscle is sucker. If it was just me on this desert island, how can I get that up there? And I can do it. You know, that's just all there is to it. I can do it. Man, I wonder if I could. If I could get it like that. See, I don't want to put too much weight on my back. Yeah, I'm going to get you uh, situated different here. I just want to see. See, however, however I do it, I'm kind of, I'm kind of messed up. Uh, get you over here. These drawers are kind of tricky to get up and uh, to get out and I'm just trying to see how well I can I can do this yeah then how am I how am I supposed to reach it down there good grief I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to set you over here and go for it okay I'm just gonna have to go for it and see what I can do about muscling this up and then maybe I can kick it under there with my knee or something. Oh, second, I don't want to lift on that or else that's just going to pop out of there. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's really, I really need Momi here to do this. I don't know how I'm supposed to lift it up and, and put it under. All in the same go. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. All right, I gotta think about this for a minute. Now see, I happen to have some little pieces here. Look at that, I can cut it right out of that. And see these extra pieces here? I got those when I was, uh, uh, when I demoed this countertop before we put this quartz uh, countertop in here, remember? If you've been watching all my uh, my videos on this uh, condo rehab, uh, you will have seen that this was black tiles with concrete uh, mortar underneath with, uh, uh, what did it have? It had uh, chicken wire underneath that, and then it had all of that plywood underneath there, and I was able to save that plywood, and I saved it all, and then the, the big pieces that I, that I happen to have, um, you know, I ended up cutting them in strips so, so that I could use these for shelves sometime or something like that. And then I, I had some small little scrap pieces in this. I didn't throw that stuff away. Um, sometimes you might think, yeah, you know, Pat Rack Video Joe, but hey, sometimes you gotta just save little pieces of stuff. So see, this stuff here is, let, let's just take a, let's just take a quick measure. 
of this. I thought it was five eighths, could be three quarters. Yep, this is this is three quarter inch material. So see, I can I can use some little pieces out of here or cut that cut this uh, angled piece. I I don't I don't know. I might save I might save that. I'll, I'm, I'll probably end up cutting out of this piece here, but I'll use some of these other ones to put down there so that I've got something where I can cut this, uh, you know. Uh, so I've got a back piece on there so I can lay these down on the ground and then I can just cut some strips out of that. That's what I'm gonna do right there.